African leaders intensified their push for reforms within the UN Security Council. The key proposal is the addition of two permanent and five non-permanent seats aiming to ensure better representation for Africa on the global stage. While the United States has expressed its support for these reforms, it has introduced a significant condition, saying Washington has, will not back the inclusion of veto powers for the two proposed permanent seats. This new development may impact negotiations as African leaders continue to lobby for greater influence within the UN's decision-making processes. Voice of America's Anthony Labruto provides more details on the unfolding situation. Hello, I'm Anthony Labruto with VOA Africa, coming to you from day two of the United Nations General Assembly here in New York City. Now, DRC President Felix Shisekedi spoke earlier, earlier this morning, where he called out Rwanda for the second year in a row, Rwanda and M23 rebels, for once again undermining the safety and security of his country. Other African leaders throughout yesterday and today are making the case once again to add five non-permanent seats and two permanent seats to the United Nations Security Council. The Pact for the Future is a great opportunity to change and also to reinvigorate the multilateral system so that it is fit for purpose to address the challenges that the world faces. It is an opportunity also to make good on the promises to reform the global governance architecture, including the international finance institutions and the United Nations Security Council, placing the fate of the world's security in the hands of a select few when it is the vast majority of the peoples of the world who bear the brunt of the various threats is unjust, unfair, and unsustainable. The United States, although they've endorsed the idea, and President Joe Biden endorsed the idea of adding and reforming the United Nations Security Council, he does not want to see the veto power associated with those two permanent seats, setting up a very, very difficult situation for those African leaders who are trying to lobby for those seven total seats on the Security Council. Among the speakers today, Senegalese President Basiru Faye, whose focus is going to be on the African migration crisis and the West African migration crisis and the worsening of it. I'm Anthony Lubruto, outside of the United Nations for VUA Africa.